Ah! 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 Stupid mic mute. Whatever. <laughs> Fix it in post. <laughs> Oh, that was all just chit chat anyway. Yeah, it was just us. I'm gonna take a hit anyway. Trick. So we're back, and this time we're talking, apparently. Are you recording? Uh, yes, we are live. So, the more boosters. That's where we get some extra parts. Oh, I thought you said more like M-O-R-E, not M-O-A-R. More arrow boosters. (laughs) Really excited to bring you more parts. No, it's all right, more. Upgraded to a new Unity engine. Yes, shaders. It's all the rage these days. Uh, (laughs) Accidental cl- crashes, something pretty dramatic. Agony is shorter and sweeter. Thank you. <laughs> Visual improvements. The moon, Minimus, Duna. These are all the planet names. They look dramatically better, even close up. All right. We haven't gotten to the planets yet, <laughs> or the moon. Uh, In flight actions, access group editor. That I haven't even gotten to. I'm Five new solid rocket boosters, four for the stock game, and one for making history. They come in extra diameters. Cool. I don't care about the whole change lock. Do you? I have no idea, do I? (laughs) I wouldn't think so. So, back to the full screen here. All right. So, um, I came across the tutorial, or took a tutorial, rather. I don't know what you call it anymore. Anyway, YouTube video with uh, Scott Beanley. And uh, you'd like it, I think. Is it Paul? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Hello, it's Scott Manley here with another episode of his, I love him. Space with his very homemade looking teacher. We <laughs> talk about hypergolic propellants. They are a core concept in rocket science. So he started science. off apparently on YouTube doing tutorials for Kerbal. Combust, meaning that and uh, can get then started going into more science videos that were this is of space and science videos. Of the lucky people who get to handle the propellant loading All these for the horribly, so I wanted to talk horribly about dangerous chemicals in a bit more more detail. So. The most common form of anyway, that's who, uh, who I've been watching a bunch of uh, to, bunch of videos of, and then one or two tutorials. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, trying to, you know, do it without asking for directions, right? Figure it all out. <laughs> we have a little bit of training, but you know, what's in the game? I'm not going too far out of, you know, it's no fun if you just have somebody tell you how to do everything. <laughs> So let's go back into our career mode. Uh, where was that? Up and away. That's the career mode. Down then. Oh, I hate the night time. But I figured out what uh, to do to collect that one bit of science that we, uh, that one contract we had started. Hmm. Game sound is not there. Do you hear the game sound? No. Yeah. Let's fix that right quick. There it is. Have some. Yeah, there we go. Dingus one, two, three, two A, and hammer time. So let's go with the latest, the best rocket we had. 
Let's hammer it to them, right? Yeah. And then let's see these stage properly. And the goal was to gather scientific data from Kerbin. This is an engineer's report, not a crew report. That's also behind my head. But <laughs> I did not hear your voice on the video. You're not hearing my voice? You hear the game more than the voice? So. <laughs> what now? Then you're buffering. Oh. But I barely heard your voice. What are you doing? Now we're getting a lot of red in the. Uh, here, let me. Uh, we can be done with the Earth from Space view, and that should free up some bandwidth. All right. Now I hear your voice. All right. Is it just laggy? Super laggy. Super laggy. Well, I dropped that other thing. Hopefully that'll speed up over time. Oh yeah, it says encoding overloaded. Turning down video settings or using a faster encoding to Tried all that already. Don't know what else to try. Well, I'll just let it uh, catch up for a while. Uh, I see it's uh, having encoding lag problems, but at least the dropped frames warning went away, so it should uh, catch up and get a little better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, wow. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. 17 second delay? Yes. All right. Well, we'll just play the game and see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> the drop framing warm went away. That's all we're playing right now. All right. Yeah, I might catch up after. There's my start. Yeah. Counting. I can actually see it in the background here. All right. So what we were supposed to do is click on the crew hatch. Just try it. Just do it. And do crew report. Yay. So that's where we collected it. But... Uh, whatever science we collect on the ground here, it has to survive the trip back. Or we could transmit it back. So, I think it has to survive the trip back. I don't know, let's transmit it too. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. Good luck, Jebediah. Godspeed. <laughs> Good luck and Godspeed, Jebediah. I put all the keys back, so... At least have some stability here. Whatever the science is now just saying. How's our fuel? Pretty good. I'll get a little hot. You too hot. We're jumping up and down again. That's a really sharp up and down kind of jump. 
I guess you'll see it in a minute. <laughs> I see you burning up in the atmosphere. I'll survive. Or am surviving, I guess. Alright, well, there's not a whole lot left to do while we're waiting to get to Apogee. Or... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah! Don't go too fast. Jump up and jump down and jump around. <laughs> Jebediah is just hanging out. I don't see no Jebediah. Being chill. Jump up and jump down and jump around just showed up. Oh, that's horribly lagging. Whoa. Well, it's probably, you know, Friday night. <laughs> so... Airbase playing Friday night gamer night. Well, there's thirty six and thirty seven thousand and sixteen thousand on the recommended channel. Yeah. Or it's uh, 60, 70, 80. Looks like he's dropping. No. He needs to be dropping in the right bay areas. Yay. That wasn't very much through the atmosphere. It's going up. Good. What? I was afraid I was going to forget to shoot again. It's still going up. Still going up. Wow. How leggy can you be? Well, there he's going way down surface. Oh, what time sitting on that? It's confusing, but it's That came down really quick, and you're not gonna let, you're gonna lose all your crap. <laughs> it looked like that. Hurry up and go get him and see. All right, we'll recover him. So we got some science from the crew report. It did. It um, did stay. Quite annoying when it's this far lag. I don't know if reconnecting would help or not. Recovered some science, recovered some parts, recovered some crew. I don't know why he has no experience gained. How do I get into curve in daylight? <laughs> Suppose there's time work here, right? Nothing's flying. Night sky on curb. Hurry up and come to sunrise already. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so let's see. What do we need here? Clearly, we need a way for you to see it live so that you're seeing it and then. If it's laggy in the stream, it's laggy in the stream. But you seeing it on the stream is so far 
draggy right now. What is, is it back 17 then? seconds. Still 17 seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'd say it's probably worth it to drop out and drop back in, so that's it. Sound. We yeah. Here? I should really leave that page open so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. So we can test a decoupler at the launch site. Not sure how you go about testing something at the launch site like that. Just put it on a launch site by itself. Fire it off at the launch site. Why itself. would that be? I don't know. Let's try it. Sounds easy enough. It says it's a trivial. I don't know what that means. The number of times we've achieved sudden uh, achieved sudden combustion <laughs> demolition enterprises has led us to consider something. Way too many parts like the T D twelve decoupler, nobody's sure how they work. I'm so glad our actual space program isn't this full of people who don't know what they're doing. <laughs> ankle play, ankle play. Yeah. Rewards. Some money, some completion money, some expense. <laughs> Activate the part through a staging suit when all test conditions are met. All right. All right. He says. <laughs> Do it. All right. So off. Well, you only have two contracts at the same time, apparently. So that. off to the uh, VAB. Test the decoupler at the launch site, though. VAB. Vehicle assembly building. Everything is an acronym. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> so I guess we'll need, at the very least, a parachute. And a capsule, and nothing works without a capsule apparently. So here's our TD12 decoupler. So I'd say stick that on the bottom, and I guess we're gonna pop that, and then pop a parachute. I don't think it's gonna go very far. The decoupler is not supposed to have a whole lot of thrust. In fact, well, why aren't you putting jetpacks on it? <laughs> Well, I'm supposed to test it at the launch pad. This seems counterintuitive to me. <laughs> My contract. Let's see what the note says. Activate the part through the stage and sequence when all the test conditions are met. The test contingents are at Kerbin and the launch site. All right. So we've got a decoupler. And 100% force. Crossfeed means that uh, uh, the fuel tanks can share pot fuel from one level to the other through this because it's only circular, so the pipes can go through the middle, apparently. I think that's what it is. Welcome to the uh, D Cup. We'll just call it the Dingus 12. <laughs> well, Dingus 5, I guess it is.
I'm off to the launch pad. Can't imagine there's going to be enough height for the parachute to come out or anything. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Three, two, one, blow it up. <laughs> there it went. That was all there was to it. Oh, we got some milestones even. Contract complete, it says. Yeah, we got some milestones. We've broken the speed record of launched our first vehicle. All sorts of things came in from all that. Good, good. Oh, it's just going through each one. Hammer. Alright, cool. Well, that didn't seem terribly useful. I guess we recover a vessel now? Apparently. <laughs> All it did was kind of go pop. <laughs> that was Hammer. What was he about? That one that you got all that stuff for. Yeah, the, the, from the earlier flights, yeah. or yesterday flights, or whatever. No, from the one that you rebooted in oh. the middle of his flight. Oh. oh, that's right. Well, I got everything collected now. Let's see. Well, that was a simple enough contract. What else we got? <laughs> Test the flea solid rocket and test a heat shield in flight. We can do two of those things, assuming we have a heat shield. Oh, test the parachute in flight over Kerbin. So we can do that with uh, the with, uh, the rocket we already have, I believe. One of our Dingus rockets, the Dingus 3, perhaps. <laughs> Let's see. Three stages. Yeah, hammer time should do it, right? Let's see what we're trying to do. The flea solid rocket booster. This is, well, that's the hammer. No, that's not it. This is the original, simple one. Oh, I hate when I do that. It doesn't have a coupler. This is true. So what are our contracts though? Test the parachute and test the, the test. Test the rocket booster. So I guess we don't need a decoupler, strictly speaking. So not. But uh, the problem is he's not very aerodynamic coming back in without <laughs> one. Oh, I watched it. Rear, 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 yeah. rear, rear. <laughs> We learned that lesson already, so we're going to go ahead and use Mr. My e coupler here. Make sure that we are doing them in the correct order. Alright, he's not a terribly expensive rocket. Blow him up. There's his center of mass. There's where the center of thrust is. And aerodynamics. Which is why he went all upside down and stupid. You see where the blue ball is higher up the middle? Yeah. yeah. So, alright. We're ready to go. We'll go ahead and save him. And launch him. You read. I'm ready. Go, Jabadai. Three, two, one. Oh, turn on SAS. <laughs> Let's navigate slightly sideways so that we can have more. Oh, we're done. 
Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're done with the thrust of our Oh, that oh, altitude. Two seconds. It is the flea solid rocket booster after all. <laughs> All right, we're still going up, and we're going to come down to the. You're going down. One twenty-seven, one twenty-eight, one twenty-nine. Splash down. Okay, while we're waiting. Alright. Wait, open the umbrella. The umbrella. <laughs> but we can uh, stage the uh, What's it parachute called? now. <laughs> he came out anyway. You can oh, stage parachute. the parachute right ah! umbrella. <laughs> hey, my uh, stuffed animals parachute was made from an umbrella. You got it. <laughs> you understood what I was talking yeah. about. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here it comes. It's only pretty good speed as it is. Oh. Is he going to land on ground? No. Oh, oh, he is. Feeling like we're coming just about straight down. He's going to land on the launch pad. Come on, bro. Don't land hard. Uh, it's at a thousand meters, he should pop or flee and flake the chute. Yeah, we managed to pretty much land where we took off. <laughs> it looks like. No arc. <laughs> no arc whatsoever, right? Let's see. Where'd he go? <gasps> so much for the arc, I guess. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Successful, triumphant music. Oh. It'd be like Gene Belcher and have their stuff all ready to go. It was a little bit... It was a little bit premature, that one. <laughs> okay, now we successfully landed. It was like three seconds, though. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Recover vessel. What we go? A little bit of science, a little bit of data, a little bit of parts, and one Jebediah who, for some reason, never gains any experience. Oh, a right. new experience game. What's up? I don't know. Okay, okay, go lay down over there. Back to mission control. Come on, go lay down over there. Be a good girl. The Mark 16 parachute in flight over Kerman. Did that, we not do that? Did we pick the wrong parachute? Incomplete, sure. incomplete, incomplete, incomplete. Yeah, I gotta go figure out why uh, Mark's... Did we have the wrong parachute? I think we only have one parachute to choose from, so... Yeah, the Mark 16. How is it that we did not test that? What did we do wrong with that? Kerbin flying, oh, at 5,000 to 8,000 meters. At a speed of 20 meters per second to 110 meters per second. Well, that's all sorts of specific, isn't it? <laughs> so I got to get to 5,000 meters to 8,000 meters. I don't even remember. Well, we got past that, I think, didn't yeah. we? So 
five to eight thousand meters and a speed of 110 meters per second. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can see that one on my screen. Mm. Well, nope. <laughs> no. I can see your beautiful face. <laughs> oh, I gotta open my eyes. I'm squinting at the screen. Um. All right. So let's go launcher. But now we have to keep all these parameters in mind. Eight. Well, he's. I'm gonna be doing this while he's descending. He's gonna be descending between five, kind of five and eight, yeah. and uh, parachute. Yeah, right. And I don't know if I'm gonna hit these speed markers, but okay, let's give her a shot. He's got a better chance to hit those speed markers by ditching the engine afterwards. You go. <laughs> Godspeed, Jebediah. Alright. Stability assist on. Check. That's all we had. Check. 3 2 1 <laughs> I can't tell about the surface. 500, 600, 700. Yeah. Surface speed's already slowing down. Yeah. So there's 8,000. I can't see the. On top. The big I, meter. I don't see that. Uh uh. You don't see the big meter nope. on top? Nope. And the atmosphere gauge there? Nope. It's coming back down like crazy. Well, it's at 12.8 now. Really slowing down. I guess I gotta slow down to zero, right? And then I'll start falling again. <laughs> it's pretty much how that works. <laughs> Put my butt into the wind. There you go, back up. Oh, you're talking about the surface speed. I'm looking at the distance from the surface on the big I thing can't up see top. That. All right, we got to be below ten thousand meters, but we're way too fast. I don't know how we're going to slow down. That's what you have a parachute for. I know, but we're supposed to be all right now. Yeah. We're below eight thousand meters. I we had to be between 5,000 and 8,000 meters above the surface. And our surface, <coughs> our speed, had to be within a certain range. <coughs> Up to like 110, they said. In fact, here's the contract. So, we got two out of the four parameters right. That's what happened. So, hmm. Oh, well, did that give it to you? Hmm. But no. Oh, the speed we got. Huh. Um, hmm. Let's see what the note says. Seven dollars, five. Yeah, I mean, he succeeds. He survives and all, but our parameters weren't met. But how, you didn't get to eight. I got way meters. over 8,000 meters. I got like 12,000 meters. Yeah, but you got over it. Not under it. How am I supposed to fly to just that far? With yeah. A solid, uh, well, obviously I can't use a solid rocket, right? You're going to have to use <laughs> like, a, like a liquid rocket that I can control the throttle on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure either. <laughs> Let's speed up and finish. Ugh, don't show me this again. Yay! <laughs> Can you tell I got a soundboard? 
No. No. <laughs> Recover missile. Good. I'm going to try some other contract because <laughs> I don't know about that one. Let's see what else can we do? Chest decoupler landed at Kerbin. Why would that be? Let's see. Activate part of your stainless steel groups when all the conditions are met. Alright, now we'll go see what the details are. So we have to keep the decoupler on until we land, <laughs> I think. And maybe that'll work because if we leave the. I didn't keep the de. No, well, okay, you do whatever you want to, but I don't see that working. Well, it would require us to. Uh, actually, we have to re recover something. It would require us to. Uh, oh, hang on, visitor. You can just decouple before launch. All right. Well, that doesn't sound like it makes for a good launch, but okay. Just a couple before launch, you think? All right. <laughs> good luck. Oh, I guess so, because they're just sitting on each other. It sounds horribly dangerous. But let's Go for it. it. <laughs> we're going to decouple first, and then we're going to launch. Easy peasy mission. <laughs> Easy peasy mission. <coughs> All right. Launch or um, whatever. Blah, blah. <laughs> Can't think straight today. All right, we're off to the launch pad. <laughs> All right, so. We're on the pad, yay! So decouple before launch, you say. He says the couple, or she, I have no idea. To couple mission complete recovery, no launch ah, required. Um, but it'll be funnier if we launch, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> There's the decouple, now you're saying just recover vessel, is that the thing? Uh, let's see what happens. Tip of die, you may Enough. die. Nothing, because it just staged the parachute. And once we decoupled, we lost con connection to the engine, I suppose. So, all right. Well, <laughs> that worked. Thanks. <laughs> Captain Crundlesticks. 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 Good luck. <laughs> so, what other missions have we got? The, this parachute that is... Very specific. <laughs> so what I was going to do was launch, leave the engine connected so that it doesn't go quite so high or so fast. Um, although, wouldn't it speed up faster on the way back down? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try that. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Don't like this staging. We want engine. The engine. Here. Yeah, that's better. And then, actually, let's, we would need to remove Mr. Decoupler. Delete Mr. Decoupler. But before we do this, oh well, why? Let's just do it. That'd be quick.
That's what he's talking about. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I guess any advice is better than no advice. <laughs> Until we know otherwise. You gonna count her down? Alright, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Stability assist. Got speed, Jebediah. Jebediah. Is it gonna go in the water? Memo. Well, I can't decouple the engine, so. Let's see, how does it slow him down? Looks like it goes on 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. I don't know. Uh, 12,000, 13,000. I thought you were only supposed to go to 8,000. Well, it said the parachute between 5,000 and 8,000. I thought, well, here, let's see the contract that I'm going. So, so between 5,000 and 8,000. But I'm at like 18,000. By the time I get back I to 8,000, I'm going to be going so fast. <laughs> That or, Maybe that dude should come back and tell us what the hell to do. Well, either that or um, so you can deploy on the way up, but it won't fire the uh, parachute until you're in the right throttle control. Uh, that'd be nice if I didn't have a solid rocket in this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means liquid fuel. All right. We can put a liquid fuel in a tiny tank. That won't get us too far up. Well, we ain't gonna make the contract, but we do have to. We do have to. Uh, I don't think there's any. Uh, doesn't look like there's any. Uh, Reaction thrusters. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Solids are bad for the atmosphere. For the in atmosphere missions. Throttle control. Throttle control. He has the throttle control. Yeah, well. Alright, so we're going to have to build some liquid engines. Luckily, they're not very complicated in the game. <laughs> I don't think you're getting it. Boy, you took a long time to open up that parachute. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Dad doesn't look dead. Yeah, right, he lived. Oh, he fell over. <laughs> so, wah, wah. <laughs> Did you get anything? Oh, I see the thing now, but how can I make that? No, I can't do the full screen. That would be crazy. So you can't get it to see the top line? No, yeah, whatever. Alright, well, we'll work on that for next time. Yeah. So we need some out-of-the-atmosphere missions, I take it, is the other solution here. Carry a VIP safely to her destiny. That sounds like a uh, airplane. <laughs> airplane? Well, they do have space planes. Well, they got some done. Let's see. I, but I, I, I haven't graduated up to space planes yet, anyway, so. Test the heat shield in flight. That sounds like a thing we can do. Significant prestige to have a heat shield in flight. Use the run test option in the parts context menu when all test conditions are met. Given speed, given altitude that you're flying. <coughs> so we'll slap a heat shield on it. And a fat rocket. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> we'll stick to the rocket stuff for the moment. Let's go get a heat shield on the Grand Dingus 5 rocket. <laughs> Let's see. The Radio early airplane crazy. stuff is so dangerous due to a shitty runway. Yeah. Yeah, he's bitching about his shitty runway already. Let's see. This probably is decent enough for this uh, heat shield test. Let's not blow off our heat shield, though, shall we? <laughs> Where is Heat Shield? Watching from Southern Ohio. Cool. We're in Central California. It is called Thermal. There it is. I love Ohio. Heat Shield. I haven't Derby. been there much. That doesn't look like a very useful Heat Shield. What is that? What kind of little baby shield. heat shield is that? I guess it's better than none. It's not a heat shield. It's a little bit of heat shield. Alright, well. Plunk. Plunk. What was I supposed Sad to say? heat shield. I guess three. I know, right? Hmm. No fuel cross feed. Well, we don't need that. Various other uh, statistical stuff that won't help us at this point. A tiny structural heat shield. It's more like a heat shield for a parachute. Yeah, maybe they do have that. Otherwise, the rocket doesn't quite look like it's stuck together right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, close enough. I don't think close enough is good enough. <laughs> close enough isn't. <laughs> That's what they, they used to always hear him say. Alright, stability control, double check our staging. A rocket, a heat, a uh, decouple, a parachute. And we're supposed to click on, right click on the heat shield, presumably while we're falling. Uh, I don't, hopefully not while we're burning up, uh, but it gave parameters and we have to match said parameters because that's how testing works. So, <laughs> all right, maybe if we take more of a left to return at Albuquerque, <laughs> you ready for our left turn at Albuquerque? Three, two, one, go. Is he going to land in the water? No. Ah, uh, he's not really stable. Oh, 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 oh. Come on now. Oh. Why are you going sideways? Don't go sideways. Jebediah's not looking too happy. That's okay. He's about done. Whee! We're flying up in the sky. <laughs> so the sad, the sad heat shield made it? You well, don't know yet. It's still there. Let's see if we right click on it. Run a test. Oh wait, am I at the wrong altitude? Let's see. Altitude 17,000 to 27,000. Run a test now. <laughs> Speed is 1600 meters per second. Uh, well, we're not doing nearly that. And we're going. <laughs> this little keyboard steering not so great. Eh. I already started talking like a Kerbin. <laughs> <laughs> 
So see the altitude, uh, you know, you, you have to get all the parameters right at the same time, apparently. It takes so long. Well, that's space flight for you. Is you sure? Yes, I sure this space program is not made of money. <laughs> Let's speed up to our. Uh... So, this sounds like a more requirements for throttle control. <laughs> <laughs> you like my success music? I don't hear any music. Really? No music. Hmm. Uh, capsule error forces will stabilize it or point it in the right general direction. Yeah. But when I try and control it without sass, it goes berserky. You don't know what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. No. I just started here. I like in her day too. <laughs> At least you're honest about it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got some stuff back. All right, you can only have two contracts at once, and we got to figure out how to do it. So let's uh, try this little one with the, or the parachute one with the uh, liquid fuel throttleable rocket. <laughs> Five thousand to eight thousand. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? <laughs> we'll just slap together a little liquid fuel puppy. And to uh, new rocket. Yes. Capsule. Parachute. <laughs> uh, how many fuel tanks do you think it takes to get to 5,000 feet? I have zero <laughs> idea. I don't know. Zero. Let's see, the engine produces 167,000, I'm assuming, uh, and some, oh, 160,000, 167,000 kilonewtons. Um, some large quantity of thrust, in other words. And <clears throat> it's not like we have a whole lot of choices, though, so. I haven't played this myself in years. Got the game when it was in its early dev stages. Well, I'm one of those that waits for version 2 to come out, and then I get version <laughs> 1 on cheap. That's, did that with, the, you know, film, video. I got a Super 8 camera as soon as video cameras were popular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always one generation behind. It's so much cheaper. Trying to stay up with the latest. <laughs> All right, so no decoupler. We're just going to try and uh, do I have a decoupler mission? No, the parachute mission. The five thousand, eight thousand meters going fairly slow. Pop the parachute. Oh, we do need to separate the start of the engine from the parachute. 
All right, cool. Nothing on the severe engineering report. Launch. So throttle up and down are shift and control, and we can give it full throttle to start just to see how high we can get. <laughs> You're ready. Three, two, one, go. Now let's first off put on some throttle here. What? Some throttle. X kills throttle, he said. Yeah. Or uh, she. I don't know. Maybe uh, he or she. Uh oh. Oh, I'm out of fuel. <laughs> Well, that <laughs> sucks. Let's see if I can if I can coast up to eight thousand. Uh, cool. Uh, come on, five thousand, eight thousand, going slowly. <laughs> and did it early. Oh no, I successfully did it. Yay! I was going up at the time, but apparently that doesn't matter. <laughs> Physics. What is physics? Only needed 5k, did you? Yeah. Yeah. I guess. He doesn't know how to do as that. As long as he survives. I got there. I, 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 we, we success. Sex, blah, blah, blah. He looks like he's surviving. Yeah, he should survive. It was only 8,000 meters. That's 24,000 ish feet. That wasn't too bad. And I went to kill the. Th the throttle, but it was, I guess it still has one little tiny touch of fuel left. Oh. Oh. Uh, whoopsie. Clam. <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> I guess I lost that engine. <laughs> you guess? You guess he lost that engine. There we go. Oh. I've been waiting all day to try that. You mean that one? Temperature gaze all disabled. But he survived. How did he survive when all of that yeah, just the, the engine blew up. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know, is he chill? You can adjust the height at which the yeah, you know, the heat, oh, yeah, he was heavy. Well, that would explain why. And adjusting the height of the parachute would be a smart move. <laughs> he acts like we know what we're doing. <laughs> well, I have some idea of what he's talking about, at least. All right, yeah, so we got, we got that one thing done. Now, the heat shield thing, I don't know. We're going to probably need the 17,000 meters isn't hard to get to. Um, that's the speed that's the problem. <laughs> There's your problem right there. Where? All right. <laughs> well, we'll go some try some else here. Let's see. Here. Focused observations of curb and uh, focused temperature survey. Ah, test the LVT45 swivel liquid fuel. I think we just did that, so. But we didn't have the contract thing on board. Twenty-eight thousand to thirty-six thousand and speed. Got Activate it. the engine through s staging. That makes it sound like uh, it needs to be a second stage. Activate the part through the staging sequence. To perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence that's behind your chair with the rest of it. Oh. Oh. When all the conditions and test conditions are met. So it's got a, a particular speed and a particular altitude. So yeah, that sounds like it's a second stage. 
All right. Solid fuel first stage, liquid fuel second stage. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Do it. We're going to make the dingus, uh, whatever number we're at now, <laughs> new pod. Parachute. I suppose I could start with a basic kind of uh, framework. Dirt decoupler. Then we're going to need some fuel tanks. I'm going to guess more than one fuel tank. But let's just do like two. And the T-45 swivel engine. And then we're going to need a decoupler on the bottom of the engine. Watch this little bit of magic. Oh, I need a Whoop. decoupler. <laughs> Why it's sticking? Oh. It gives you a nice little fairing. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> then we need a solid rocket. We're going to go ahead and shove the hammer on there. Oh, hammer. There, yeah, there, 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 there. there. Right That's a big. So, there's the hammer. We decouple. We light our engine. The T45, old reliable. That's right. I guess, because it just started. <laughs> and then parachute. Okay, it looks like we're all staged correctly. I don't know if the engine's going to be enough to get her going. And this is the Dingus 6. <laughs> They're all Dinguses. All right, so it's so a much more significant rocket. Three, two. Wait, 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 wait. let's get Damn the contract it. up so we can count down good. <laughs> we want to get the contract up so we know what we're doing here. 28 to 36,250 to 400 meters a second. 28,000 meters to begin with. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna go one, two, three, next time and piss you off. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna tilt over just slightly. Why do you want to end in the water? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a lot of aerodynamic forces. He's going through Mexico! Somewhere along the line. Oh, throttle up. I'm always we supposed to throttle up at 28,000 feet. You just I don't think we're going to get to 28,000 feet. <laughs> 28,000, come on, 15. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 28,000 feet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm supposed to be going slow too. 28,000, is I going to make it? Uh, no, going too slow. Fire anyway. Because <laughs> Why? Oh, it's gonna fire. I can't tell where it's at. You dang it. <laughs> ah! Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm upside down. Ah! You said there was no need for sass. <laughs> I highly disagree. <laughs> I think that was last flight, honey, not this one. Yeah, maybe. Alright, there's... Did Jebediah live yet? He's okay. He's just coming down. <laughs> oh, I started a new rocket, so I don't have the heat shield. Oh, uh, you're gonna burn it. up in the atmosphere. Well, I don't have the additional heat shield. <laughs> it apparently has some. Let's see what our Poor arc Jebediah. looks like. Oh, Jebba. Oh, jeez. That's pretty sharp. 
right there. That doesn't look like that's going to be good. <laughs> you better slow your, your your pod down there, buddy. <laughs> tell him. You know, tell him what? Tell him to slow it down. Come on, Jebediah. This is a good time for an EVA. Oh, no. <coughs> oh poor Jebediah. Carbon surface is what? Uh, carbon surface. Surface is your speed relative to the surface. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's the speed relative to orbit. Their surface speed, orbit speed. Oh, he don't look good. Oh, 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 oh. He's not looking good. I don't know. Crew hatch. Don't let him out. Crew report. Transmit the report before we die. Turn on the lights, because why not? <laughs> Look at his eyes are all buggy. <laughs> Aren't they always? Poor Jebediah. Look, he's looking out. There's a tiny little light in the window. Oh. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what good that's for or not. I have no idea. Alright, so he's facing downward at least. Done with the throttle. Now the parachute. Oh, we did the parachute. We don't have the heat shield. Next time we need the heat shield. And I'm thinking we're going to go way too fast. So if you don't have a parachute, don't you just die? Yeah. You just smack into the planet and go kaplow. So he's going to die? No, he's got a parachute. A Jebediah? No, Jebediah is fine. He'll live. I, I'm, I haven't How deployed rude. the parachute yet. Might be okay. I don't know. Thanks for a vote of confidence there. <laughs> Might be okay. No, be. I don't think so. I think you guys are lying to me. Wait, wait. Look, here comes, I can hear it. Here comes the atmospheric heating. <laughs> That's going to fry. Didn't go too high. I guess. I don't know what's too high. This butt's going to fry. Well, let's see. We're at uh, 11,000. Oh, no. His surface speed's slowing down. He, he wasn't going so fast as to start lighting up and burning. Parachute? I don't know. Do I want the parachute? When do I want the parachute? When should I do the parachute? Maybe now? I thought it was a thousand feet or something. Well, that's when it opens, but it's got to have some distance. That big boom was the other... All right, I'll do the parachute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill Jebediah. But I needed to make some drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't make drama. Drama, there drama. Goes. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. A little bit of G-forces, and you're down to a nice speed. Let's time warp to the ground real quick. Still make his eyes all buggy. <laughs> I didn't know what I was Jebediah. in control of his bugginess. Nice soft landing in the field. Out in the Pretty good graphics when you see the landing like that. Right. Now we've got some incompletable contracts because I don't know how to do that. Because <laughs> you don't know how to do it, or uh, you well, can't do I don't, it. Yeah, I guess I can. I just I, I was never had to match meet the parameters before. <laughs> It was always just do a thing. You're not do a thing within very well, specific Isn't that part of the, parameters. in quotes, I, and I say in high quotes, game? You mean the rocket science of it? <laughs> you mean meeting parameters to get a prize in the game? Yes, that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> well, don't so, you ferry a, a VIP? You get a bunch of stuff, it looks like. Well, I've only got a max of two contracts I can hold at a time, and I've got uh, two right now. Oh, uh, well, do those. Well, that's what I'm doing. The swivel engine 
Did not quite make the parameters. <laughs> Did not quite get high enough with that one solid rocket booster. So, we're going to need more boosters. <laughs> Clearly. We need more boosters. <laughs> I'm just burn up. <laughs> All right. Well, very little tanks. Booster. I don't know how much. I don't have a whole lot of. Booster. 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 Oh, I trashed the engine. Or the booster, yeah. So, hammer booster. Sure enough. Let's throw two of them on here. Oh. <laughs> Those are not good. That's, a, that's ain't gonna work. Not a good place for a booster. One, one way, fly. one the other. I just yeah. want to see it fly. Come on. That's why we've been spending our time <laughs> doing that. <laughs> it would not stick on where I wanted it to. Undo it. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. Three, two, one. Crazy! Okay, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, not real, you lose me. He survived. <laughs> what are you doing? That lady here. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten a little late for us, I guess. Whew. <laughs> Well, that was a bit of a dreidel rocket. <laughs> All right. But we didn't kill him. Somehow, magically, we didn't kill him. <laughs> Ooh, that was horrible. Alright, back to the VAB. We'll try and get these boosters right this time. Doesn't seem to be doing the symmetry though. What am I missing? Oh, the other decoupler things. That's what we do. We need side decouplers. There's the side decouplers. You call it what you want to, that didn't work. <laughs> what? It was the Dreidel ro Rocket 2000. <laughs> that was not work. Why does he not want to stick? Some of these bits of trying to put it together are the worst. They're supposed to be symmetrical. Oops. Kerbals could be quite resilient. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh, we've killed a lot of them. <laughs> we haven't killed them all that many. Oh, that's why it's having trouble. So it apparently can't attach to this fairing because that's not part of a something. That's just, uh, well, it's really just the decoupling ring. So, uh, what would we put below? I can't put three. Well, let's put two flea boosters and a hammer booster right on it. That'll get us high enough. Put the hammer booster on. Go through some side decouplers. Maybe go 
Should have a couple of flea boosters on there. Let's see, do we have the aerodynamics? Yes, that would be good. Well, that's not half that bad looking as the rockets go. <laughs> that should get us the, the altitude and the speed for that second stage to launch. <clears throat> so, two solid rocket boosters fire. Two decouplers release those solid rocket boosters. Center rocket fires. Okay, so we're a three stager. I don't know. Do we need that? Should we just throw the center stage rocket in with the main launch? I don't know. I don't know. Give me a little more power because I could fire it and, and decouple it, I guess. Then we get our liquid engine. I'm afraid I'll, I'll go too fast. Not a load bearing structure. Yeah, well, I figured it out eventually. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, let's see. The Dinga 6. Oh, this thing again. So, my keyboard occasionally goes crazy balls. And now I can't type anything. See? Focus. What do you have to do? Reboot? Ah, craft name cannot exceed so many characters. Now I can type intermittently, but what's the deal? Well, I'm thinking this is a sign that we're pretty much done for the evening. <laughs> Damn it! Well, that was about an hour and a half all told. All right. Well, we'll be back tomorrow night. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks a lot.